The dock workers' strike is over. The union says an agreement has been made, at least for now. Our Kirsten Glavin joining us live in South Boston, where strikers have been picketing since late Monday night. Kirsten. Yeah, a sigh of relief tonight. Here at Conley Terminal, you can see the road is back open. Workers have gone home for the night and say they'll be back here tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. for their next shift. Now, Conley Terminal serves more than 2,500 businesses here in the Northeast. Great news for them. The International Longshoremen's Association and the United States Maritime Alliance announcing this evening they have reached a tentative agreement on wages. These dock workers will be getting a 62 pay percent pay increase. Now, in addition to more money, the union was also asking for less port automation. It appears that still needs to be worked out. They'll be extending their current master contract until January 15th of 2025 and will return to the bargaining table to continue negotiating. Now, you may remember the strike started at midnight heading into Tuesday. It was one of the biggest work stoppages in decades. It affected East Coast and Gulf Coast ports, hindering the supply chain. President Joe Biden did did release a statement tonight saying in part, quote, I congratulate the dock workers from the ILA who deserve a strong contract after, after sacrificing so much to keep our ports open during the pandemic. And I applaud the port operators and carriers who are members of the U.S. Maritime Alliance for working hard and putting a strong offer on the table. Now, earlier today, we were talking to grocery shoppers, some of whom were panic buying, trying to get goods. Of course, it is safe to say now that can all stop, at least for the time being. Reporting here in South Boston. Boston. I'm Kirsten Glavin, NBC10 Boston. A lot of people will see that as good news, Kirsten. Thank you.